Good item nine, County Manager's report, Ms. Dukes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, first of all, I'd like to start with uh, Leadership Lounge and Local Government Day. Last Thursday, uh, Leadership Lounge had the first standalone Local Government Day that they've had in quite a few years. This is something that we've been pushing and lobbying for for a while. Um, Ms. Barwick was extremely instrumental in planning that day and making that happen, so I, I would like to thank her for her efforts. Also, Mr. Dillard for his participation and, his, and acceptance. Um, after we talked to the class, one of their favorite parts of the day um, was the rodeo at Public Works. It was also Public Works Week last week, and so Ms. Cumbus and her team uh, hosted uh, a great opportunity for the Leadership Lounge mm -hmm. class members to be able to touch that equipment, operate that equipment. Um, it was a great learning experience for Leadership Lounge and also a fantastic recognition of the good works that Robin and her team does there. Um, also, as a part of that day, Commissioner Evans and Commissioner Weisenbaker both went out and had lunch with Public Works, and I think that was just as valuable. Um, it was a great time spent, and I appreciate them making time for that. Um, also, the ARC funds have been deposited um, for Lowndes County. Uh, we're getting around $22 million, so that's $11,000 and some change. Right now, staff is putting together a capital projects list. Um, with some good estimates that we know that what that funding can be used for so you all can start to prioritize that Also the property tax assessment notices uh, will be mailed out later this week and that will have the um, Estimated millage for fire on them. So we have a plan in place with the tax assessor's office If they get questions there to send them over to our team Then we have several folks that will be available to spend time on the phone with citizens um, we've also done media interviews already. The chairman did a media interview earlier today. We, we've talked about it on the radio this week, and then we also have information on our website related to that to help get the word out. Um, ABM has started um, their actual technical work this week, so you'll start to see those employees with their ABM shirts around our buildings for the next year or so. Um, last week at the end of the week, um, Mr. McLeod held the construction kickoff meeting on the historic courthouse. Um, with the construction manager and the architect. So that is moving forward full speed ahead. Um, we had a marketing initiative with Wild Adventures and the Animal Shelter that finally came to fruition and Wild Adventures is going to start um, helping market our shelter pet, pets as a part of um, their anniversary celebration this year. Um, you all have a um, budget work session at 8.30 on June the 2nd. So I know that we've sent the budgets out to you all between now and June 2nd. If there's anything specific that we can get you more information on, please let us know. Stephanie and I are holding our time available to, to get that out to you. So if we need to talk about that, we certainly can. Um, tomorrow at 2 p.m. in the overflow room on the second floor, uh, Mr. Fletcher and his team will host the 41 North Widening Project kickoff. So that again will be something that we'll need to communicate with citizens heavily over the next few months. Um, and then the last announcement that I have this evening, Aaron, were you able to, to get that up? <laughs> so we are super happy for Commissioner Evans, all of the citizens that live on Gaines Lane, and all the thanks goes to Mr. Fletcher for um, making this happen. Um, if any of you have ever... <laughs> um, so everyone in attendance tonight, um, a year or so ago, the commission created a resolution that provided a mechanism for people who live on private roads um, to be able to have those roads improved um, to county standards and the county start to maintain those roads. And as you can imagine, that's extremely important as it relates to public safety vehicle and just the quality of life of those citizens who live on those roads. And so this is the very first road that has been completed a part, as a part of that project and it just would not have happened without the patience of the folks who live on the road and the cooperation of those residents Commissioner Evans leaning really hard on us and then Mike taking all those details and making it happen. So thank you all for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do the citizens wish to be heard? 